ass right now. Please don't do that, sir. This job's all I got. I got a beat on Durazio. How did you manage to get to Tony Durazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. the sound of that.
taking so long? I give it a month. Give what a month? What are you whispering for? Full Tony lost Dominic. That's fucked up, man. I give him six. Huh? How'd you go? I'll go get him. Breathing over there? Say something if you're okay. Hey! It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Someone doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. 
And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Clear on out of here. Huh? God damn, what was that? Right now? Okay, okay. Here's what I want you to do. Follow him. See if he can... I think I heard something. Bitch in hand. We're alone. Now let's dance, bitch. He ain't getting away. Grab a cover. Yeah, you like that? Huh? Get behind him! It's the way you die!
figured I wouldn't get to shoot nobody. Spotted him. Come on. Should have kept your head down. off the wrong white boy. Get around him! Oh, he's cutting us down! He's that stupid song bitch. This was going on long enough! Time to dive, prick! He's taking out the whole team! From the other side. Dead asshole, 12 o'clock. Got you now. Oh, gonna take all day. Come try killing me. They are audacious.
done. Goodbye. You really think you know how all this is going to play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Ah, there. Good hunting weather. This?
Better to come here. Need to reload. We got a hunk of dairy. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. That ain't exactly true. Cause Doling out pieces of the city is a hell of a lot bigger deal than having a couple of meatheads lock down some action. All I'm saying. First time hearing of any action in this part of the city, which is fine, but it don't change my stance that this turf ought to come to me. You trusted me this far, Lankin. No sense changing coast now. The Haitians will run this part of the city. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holler and here. That's the way you see it, fine. But I'll be looking for the next district to come my way. As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me and Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket 
than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. 